everyone, this is Crossfire. Welcome to another tutorial on Unity 3D and Playmaker. Today we will be starting this Infinite One of 3 ds tutorial series. And it will be in parts, which will be less than, say, 10 minutes. So, I'm going to start off by giving this over overview of what exactly we are using in this and what exactly we will be covering in this. So I got my notes right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read out what exactly the series would contain. So first of all, we'll just uh, get to know the basics of sculpting and sculptress, and uh, we'll be using Pro Builder Basic, which is free on the Asset Store in Unity, and we'll be using Blender as well to do the texturing and uh, other modeling stuff which will be easier to do in Blender than Pro Builder or Sculptress. So we'll be using Blender and we'll be using GIMP for the, the texturing and we'll try to keep it as minimalistic as possible. So uh, GIMP is going to be our basic texturing program. We might be using uh, Paint.net as well, but I'll try not to use it both of every software in this uh, series will be free except for Playmaker which is a visual scripting tool and that's what the series is all about so I hope you understand so uh, the first part will be sculpting the model the character and the props f required for the uh, you know the scene and the objects that we must place in the scene for the infinite runner then we'll be we'll be doing uh, the rigging for the character and animations for it and we'll do texturing in GIMP and then we'll set up the scene and use a you know uh, use lighting for the scene bake lights and then make the scene look good so then we'll be adding GUI and uh, a basic menu for the scene with the canvas system the UI system which unity uses which would be awesome so and after that we will be using uh, this animator for making you know uh, transitions between animation states that we did in blender so We'll be using those animations right here, and we'll be blending between two animation states. Uh, they'll be mainly running, jumping, sliding animations, and if the player hits a wall, then that's another animation. So we'll be having a maximum of six animations for the player, let's say. So then we'll be looking at the camera behavior for the scene, and We'll set up a skybox and we'll be using this uh, perspective view camera so that our game is uh, looking good. So after that we'll uh, fix bugs based on the camera and we'll make it move smoothly, as smoothly as possible. We'll try to make this game very neat. So I'll, I'll provide as much as detail to it so uh, and then next we'll use use the shuriken particle system right here which unity has and we'll be using this to create dust and mouse trail stuff like that which would look awesome in the game and we'll be using gimp for texturing the particles for the particle system as well and next we'll we'll be adding the various movement we'll be clamping the movement from uh, for the player so that he can get off the screen and we'll be adding we'll be talking about colliders triggers and then we'll be adding points power-ups and this is going to be a long series so uh, we'll be adding the power-ups we see in subway surface which is a multiplier uh, power up which would increase the 
uh, basic points I mean double the points and we'll, we'll be using a jetpack for that we need to do another animation as well so that would be another work so we'll be using magnet which would not uh, be that tough so we'll be implementing a score counter uh, for for the uh, for the scene so that we can get to know how much distance the travel uh, the player traveled and we'll be doing image effects we'll be using fade in fade out effects so that it looks polished so the final stage is uh, adding some polish and some sounds actually I thought we could use Bosco Sea Oil for making some music or uh, say indie music in this case for our game and finally we'll be adding environment for the scene so that the player I mean so that the game doesn't look too boring it would contain trees stuff like that buildings and all the bridges and subways and whatever that you see in uh, subway surface will try to make a crossy roads version of subway surface the pixelated version so that would look good and we'll be using player preferences for saving data and saving high scores for the player and at the last we'll be taking a look look at the audio mixer in which we can you know blend music inside the unity game engine so that is going to be another uh, aspect so in this series we look at every aspect of the unity game engine so keeping in mind we'll use playmaker for scripting alone and there's not going to carry any code so I'll be sharing all the source code on on my Dropbox or something like that so I would I would just be sharing everything with you so this is going to be an open project and so this is the basic introduction for the infinite runner 3d tutorial series so I'll see you in my next video this is Crossfire signing out